Hey class, this video is still on elimination, but multiplying two equations, so even more difficult now. Now, if we look over here, um, we're going to look at our coefficients. Now, for x's, we have 5 and 3. Over here, we have 4 and 5. Well, looking at that, they're not even inverses of each other. They're not even the same number, but we can make them become the same number. Um, you can eliminate the x's, you can eliminate the y's. It doesn't matter. You still get the correct answer, um, but let's try to eliminate the x's. Now, if I look at the coefficients, I look at, eh, it is a negative five, let's forget about that. Let's look at five and three. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna ask myself, what is the least common multiple, the LCM of five and three? Meaning, what is the smallest number that, have, that both five and three can go into? That if I were to find multiples of five, like five, 10, 15, 20, all that, and three, three, six, nine, and so on, what would be the smallest number that they both share? Well, it turns out to be 15. Okay, well, if I want, I'm gonna multiply both these equations. If I want this number to become 15, I've gotta multiply it by three. All right, well, it turns out when I multiply three times a negative five, I'm gonna get negative 15. So I really want this number to become a positive 15, to become inverses, so I can eliminate. Well, in order for 3 to become positive 15, I want to multiply it by a positive 5. Okay, so I'll multiply it by a positive 5. All right, so let's see what these two equations come. We might get some big numbers, but that's okay. All right, well, we're going to get negative 15x uh, plus 12y equal to, it's 30, should be negative 54. Negative 54. Yep. And on the bottom, we're gonna get 15x minus 25y equal to 15. All right, well, what we accomplished is we actually did eliminate. We multiplied both equations so that these two coefficients of x could become the same number and inverses. So that negative 15x and positive 15x go away. Okay, they're eliminated. That's what we want. So what we're going to do is now we're gonna solve for our y's. Well, we're going to have, if I combine these y's, positive 12 and negative 25, looks like we're going to get a negative 13y. And equal to, we're going to get a negative number for this. And just to simplify this, we're going to get 20, 34, 30, I want to say 39. 39. All right, I hope I did that math in my head correctly. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna now uh, divide by our coefficient, which is negative 13 to both sides. All right, so we're gonna get y equal to, a uh, negative divided by negative is a positive, and 13 can go into 39, I believe three times, all right? Okay, so we have what y is, so, but we have to find what x is. I do not want you substituting into one of these equations. You're gonna get some big number, there's, there's gonna be a big computation. Let's make it easier and simpler on our labs. So I'm gonna choose one of these equations. I'm gonna substitute y, which is three, into one of these equations. Uh, let's choose the second one. So instead of writing y, I'm gonna write what that number is, which is three. So let's have three x minus five, and instead of y, it's gonna be three, equal to three. All right, well, we're gonna have three x, negative five times a positive three is gonna be a negative 15, and it's equal to three. Well, solving for x, we're going to add 15, the inverse of subtracting 15 to both sides. All right, and we're gonna have three x equal to 18. And finally, if you were to divide by three, we're gonna get x equal to six. All right, and finally, our answer, there is a solution. It turns out there's one solution, and that solution is six comma three. All right, and that's the solution. This is multiplying two equations by a number. I'm exhausted. I'm hope, hopefully you got a lot out of this video. If you have any questions, make sure that you contact me. Go to tutoring. If you need any help, don't hesitate. All right, Mr. B, peace.